all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're going to be talking about the text streaming so in this video we're going to be looking at like how we can stream the text like character by character or word by word so if you have like tried somewhere chat gpt or any open ai platform where you can just write the prompt and uh, wait for the response and in the response you see it's printing the printing the content like character by character or the word by word so that's kind of thing we're going to do into the front end side and we're going to build in that logic or and also we're going to build in the component that you can reuse for stream the tags wherever you want to okay let's get into this and then look how we can build this so this is gonna be like my custom react code like from the scratch and you will not find this kind of structure anywhere else like if you would try any library or something so this is my custom build by myself so i'm gonna be walking you through with that okay thank you so, so let's get started so you see over here this is what i have created one component over here and this text is the ui side over here okay so now we're gonna be writing some text so we can print it on this ui okay okay so let's start it so what i'm gonna do just uh, write a text over here like this calls a, okay and then uh, let's type some lot and it's some blah 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 something like this okay. so this is what we have the text long text okay now we have to print this text so what we can do just let's uh, just write the gsx first Okay, so inside create one div, give it one paragraph, inside the paragraph I text stream, some stylings, font size, aria. Okay, for this one for rm next paragraph we're gonna be taking it over here. And inside that we're gonna be just keeping the text part. Oh, sorry not text part we're gonna keep in the a okay a inside of it and just give some styling one size one rem so if you don't know about the difference between rem and px so uh, a standard way the one rem equals to 16 px okay so you can have and the font style is gonna be italian i'm just keeping it italic okay so it's gonna be look a little nicer so you see this is my text and this is what it is okay so let's reduce the size okay so 100 percent gonna be looked like this okay now what we have to do we have to streamline this text character by character okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna be creating one custom hook over here like this function okay custom hook so if you don't know about the custom hook you can go and watch my previous videos where i have elaborated this thing properly and how the custom hook you can create okay in the react playlist so i'm just gonna be initial value text as a string so this hook gonna be taking values as a string okay so this is the typescript which i'm using you can make it in javascript as well so okay so that's it and i'm gonna be creating one new state hook inside this new state like a state and then set the state so i'm gonna be keeping the initial value inside this okay just keep it empty no need to put the initial value inside this and new state okay so that's it and i'm gonna be returning the value state over here like this okay so th this is it. now let's try over here to call state cause and state okay custom hook and feed the text, uh, text value inside which you want to render in the UI book. okay so let's do it so now the text should come over here uh, so it's not coming because i am not setting the state over here so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna be running one use effect over here okay so use effect and keep it empty for now okay so use effect use effect use effect like this and set state equals to text now it should print over there so you see it's the character is printed now we have to write the logic how we can print it character by character okay so logic gonna be written over here so what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna split the text split it text into uh, every single character so split by this value okay so it's gonna be split the text into the every single character so i'll just show you into the log splitted text and then if we go into the logs 
how we can inspect so you see it shows like this 125 characters isn't it okay so that's how we got it now we have to re-render our component joining each and every character together okay so first i will print l then i will print l o then i will print l o r so that's how i have to slice the array and then print it again so what i can do over here i will just run set interval uh, set type out okay and then just make call a function and give you the time delay 100 1000 one second okay so it's gonna be one second and now what i will do set state okay set state and the previous equals to any and then i have to return the state over here okay so return what will return will do and before that we need to hold the index value as well somewhere so index like this and then in the index value initial value gonna be zero like this because we need to hold that value for running a loop and one more thing if you want to run a loop again let's suppose someone ask you a question like you want to how to run a loop in the react without using for while or any other loop functionality which javascript provides so what you can do you can use use effect method okay so let's suppose you want to run a loop so you can run it like you can like it will run like this you can hold the index value and you can just put the index value over here okay like this and then whenever your index value will update it like this like i will just put the set index okay and then index plus one so index plus one so you can just keep your index value keep on updating and your execution will start running into this use effect okay so until it will finish like until you want to stop it it will keep on running into the infinite loop okay once you want to stop it so what you have to do is stop updating this state and it will be out of the loop okay so that's how it was so some of you will be already aware about this one if you have dig deeper into the react react js okay so what we have to do now so uh, we are already updating our index value over here so now we have to do like split it text dot slice okay slice we need to slice the array so always initial value gonna be zero and the slice will index value so we will slice till index dot join our uh, all the like list whatever the list will return and we have to join it okay so that's gonna be we are doing and now we need to we don't need this set state thing over here okay so I hope it should work now okay so let's see into the ui so if i reload the page if you see it's it's working you see it's printing the character uh char it's printing the word character by character okay so printing the text so this is how it's gonna work so if i have to increase the speed of it just reduce the time like that's a 200 millisecond so you see it's printing faster so reload the page it's a printing faster okay so that's how you can do it okay and if you want to do some other changes let's suppose if you want to do some like input box or something and then you print it uh, like input box and you hit the enter and then after that you want to start it so you can do that as well so how are we going to do that uh, before doing that what we have to do we have to stop this execution as well so what we can do if split it text index then it should run this execution otherwise it should not run this execution okay if there is no split it text like index value index value exists on that uh, array then it should not start it okay so that's how so let's reload this it will work so you see this is printing character by character and if i have to print it by word by word what i can do just give a space okay and now reload the page and then it will print word by word oh sorry i have to give a space over here so it's printing word by word so that's how you can do it okay let's but the character by character looks fine so that's why we should use that one only okay now i was saying like let's suppose i have an input box so i'm gonna be creating one form okay form element on submit okay so we will handle submit okay let's create one function handle submit handle function function handle or just copy paste and this is handle submit okay, like this and then event 
uh, just fight it uh, just type it any and then e dot prevent default so why we are using this because uh, by default if you submit the form it reloads the page so if you use this prevent default so it will def it will stop the default behavior of the form and give you the whatever the input you whatever the data you want inside this okay so that's you can do otherwise just create one input box over here input and then just keep it and then input type submit input dot type uh, submit okay and the name submit. Yeah, let's see so you see the submit button is over here and input box is over here so the outline should also come so let me just add the styling border one px solid three. so the border i got the border over here okay so now if i enter something inside it hit enter so it should start printing this tag otherwise it should not print so what i can do over here i can create one function and uh, that called function called trigger okay and then trigger function will decide should I start it or not okay so just hold one state over more and then trigger trigger flag trigger flag oh sorry but flag okay and the by default it will be false and then set trigger flag set trigger flag okay so what I'm gonna do just set this trigger flag to true Okay, and then it will start printing so I have to check over here and then trigger flag and then over here as well what we need to do is keep the state as well over here control Z state and then trigger flag so whenever your trigger flag get updated by default it will run but the trigger flag get updated so you should also start okay so yeah that's it and just pass this trigger into the zone trigger function into this and they get this trigger function over here trigger function and then put the trigger like this okay, why it's showing error a string void callable not called something something so we have some issues so we need to get it done state is the error okay void is not as available type of react node it's just keep it any okay so that's it was called English and now we reload the page okay so we don't have any input value over here now if I type something I give it so you see the trigger is started I started printing the value so it's like chat GPT okay so I hope that's it that's it from this video and I hope you learn something from this video so if you like this please like the video and subscribe the channel and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much thank you so much for watching bye bye